huge naming controversy. Two civil rights organizations are speaking out in support of the Hampton City Council's decision to name a bridge after Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The reason they're talking about it now is because a group of citizens started a petition to change the name of the bridge near Fort Monroe. Ten on your side's Brandy Cummings joins us now live in the newsroom with the story. Brandy. Laura Stephanie, citizens who oppose the name of the bridge say they want council to vote on it again. Meanwhile, civil rights leaders say this controversy is divisive and not the goal of their organizations or even Dr. King. It sits at the end of Mercury Boulevard connecting Phoebus to Fort Monroe. This bridge is now a hot topic in Hampton. This isn't about the bridge, at least it didn't start out the way. According to the city, at least six years ago, a memorial committee was created to explore a way to honor late civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Last year, the group decided this bridge, which had no name, would be a perfect location. It worked so well, according to the group, because um, they saw Dr. King as someone who bridged gaps and who worked across and also Freedom Fortress and Fort Monroe has this dual distinction of being the first place that Africans were were brought to this country. I'll now entertain a motion. Move to approve the resolution. So last month, council members voted unanimously to name it the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Bridge. Since then, a group called Citizens for Fort Monroe started a petition and have collected more than 1,500 signatures trying to get the name changed. According to group representative Kim Vaughn, they are outraged because, quote, Dr. King has no part of any history to Fort Monroe. I think that that is a slap in the face to the citizens of Hampton who volunteered their time for six years. Andrew Shannon, local chapter president of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference says, the goal is to honor Dr. King, not create a community divide. We are saddened that, that people have tried to use this issue uh, of bringing in and recognizing Dr. King for their own political motives and motivations. And tomorrow, civil rights and clergy leaders are scheduled to hold a news conference in support of the Dr. Martin Luther King Memorial Bridge. We have details on that, plus a link to the petition, all on our website, wavy.com. For now, live in the newsroom, I'm Brandi Cummings, 10 on your side.